Howdy out there, everybody. Yeah, it's Sandy J here, and I'm fixing to try out my new ratchet that I brought at Atwoods in a bargain bin. And I'm going to be replacing the plugs on my car. I want to set my camera up. I'm going to try to see if I can just set my phone up. I'm not trying to draw too much attention to myself out there because I'm going to be doing it right there in the parking lot in my car. So yeah, see you out there and hopefully it'll work out okay. I'm trying to set my phone up here. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. It should work. what's going on. I'm gonna have to get a better ratchet. This is junk right here. Okay, I'm back. I had to go get a torque wrench to use because I don't have another good ratchet. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna set this back up. Even on a four cylinder, you can foot, you can <laughs> mess up that firing sequence, that firing over real quick <laughs> if you don't pay attention and take your time. Always take your time and stuff like this experience. All right, put in the coil. Reverse is the same as installation is as the same as removal. <laughs> It's firmly on there, so it's going to snap. You know it's, it's secured. Okay, it's the first one. Set press down. 
with snap. I try to change these at least once a year. <laughs> a lot of people would argue I should change them more than that. I don't always have the funds. Same procedure in the next one. Off of there. Put this foam here. So I'm trying to do this in such a way where you can see what I'm doing. Have a way to hold it for me, so I kind of got to it. Here it says that doesn't help. Okay. Let's this little container on here. That's one of the new keys I had made today. Get some new ones made because the other ones are pretty much worn out. One. Uh oh, it's dead. So put it back on. Okay. All right. Oh, here. Hold on a minute. There it is, right there. Move it up just a little bit. <laughs> see it. It doesn't look to be in better shape. I can see. Yeah, it's not caked over or anything. Checking the gap on that one. And it's yeah, 0.4. It should be. It says on the specifications for this car. If you can see it or not. Yeah, there it is. You can see it. And it's clean enough. Slight slight bit of tan on it. Yeah. These vehicles, you know, it's got like heavy cake like white. That's probably pre-ignition. Usually, if it's like really, really black, you're running too lean. You're running too rich if it's black. If it's uh, running like really white, it's running really hot, and you're having pre-ignition issues. I've learned this from manuals from other people. Stick that one back on. Snap right there. There, there's a topping piece. You drop it back on. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this is what fell off. That little retainer that was on here, or right here, I should say. See it right there. That's what I'm talking about. Stubborn after being on there for a while. Next one shouldn't be too hard. Pull it out. There you go. Like I said, remember to do these one at a time because 
didn't think much of yank them all out at once. Oh, it's weird to go. Experience. <laughs> yeah. One right there, lengthwise. So, yeah. As before, same, same procedure. Down the you know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad this isn't a six cylinder Nissan, where you, like a Nissan Quest, where you have to take like a three cylinder, five engine, I think. You have to take the whole intake manifold off just to change the plugs in the back. And the power steering hose. If any of you worked on a Nissan Quest, <laughs> yeah. Let's check this sucker out here. Yeah, it's not too bad. It has a nice, healthy tan coating. Proper burning. There's some exhaust for you. <laughs> yeah. Check that. Gap arena on that. I'm doing better holding the camera than I thought. Just trying to make sure it's gapped correctly. It's, it's in the neighborhood. So we need to press that one in just a little bit. It's a little over the proper gap. Hit it on the ground a little bit, bend it. Not too much pressure because you don't want to break the tip. Get this bad boy back in here. are the recommended plugs for these, plug wires for these. Smooth start up. Wasn't doing that the other day, especially in the heat. Yeah, I did. But hey, that's going to wrap it up for that video about changing the plugs. Yeah, I kind of lot ran out of space on my camera, so I had to like put everything on the computer here. <laughs> yeah, but for those of you who know how to do all that stuff, I mean, it's just a walk in the park. But for those of you, it was, for, it was mainly for those of you who've never. You know, change plugs or whatever before. You know, that's just how I do it. You know, it's from, it's from my personal experience. You know, but yeah. But hey, if you like my videos, comment, rate, subscribe if you want to keep your comments respectful. And as always, stay blessed. In the name of Christ Jesus, stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay at peace. Stay real. Stay true to yourselves. Treat others the way that you want to be treated and not like doormats. Amen. I'm out. Bye.